Hello, hi, welcome to Global Online and today we are discussing NDA UGC NET 2023 paper to economics and today we are discussing an important topic from microeconomics, general equilibrium analysis. In yesterday class, we discuss about demand analysis and as a whole, we discuss general equilibrium analysis from microeconomics and before we moving ahead, a quick look at what Global Online offering for you. We provide complete syllabus video lectures, notes, mock tests and last 10 years PYQs. So it will really help your preparation and also to crack your exam in very first attempt. And those who have interested to join with us, please contact with the given WhatsApp number and get paper 1 complete course free with paper 2. Okay, we will discuss our topic general equilibrium analysis. General equilibrium analysis in the name indicates general is true. That is the economic variables in an economy is taken into the consideration of general equilibrium analysis. Their interrelationships and also interdependence for understanding the working of an economy. So here the prices and quantities of the commodities and services will affect the entire economy relation between the factors. So the general equilibrium indicate an important important topic from microeconomics and also various economic variable uh, economic variables related with the economy also treat in a way that it will be equalized or in a manner of demand will equals supply. So sometimes it will indicate a unrealistic assumption and also a unrealistic concept. And the major characteristics of general equilibrium means the general equilibrium will exist in equilibrium state. The name indicates also such that and the consumer spends his given income in a manner that it will yield the maximum satisfaction. So here consumer satisfaction will maximum and also the producer satisfaction also maximum and some of the assumption related with the general equilibrium first of all the market should be in a perfect competitive or a perfect competition market will function the assumption of general equilibrium analysis so both the commodity and the fa factor market will function as a perfect competitive market Perfect competitive market is a condition in which there are large number of buyers and sellers. And also here the demand for the commodity is also high. And identical cost and price condition. All firms will uh, supply in a identical cost condition and also in a identical price. And here the profit of the cons uh, customer sorry the profit of the firm is normal or uh, here does not they will yield a super normal profit that uh, they will get from the uh, profit is very low or at a minimum level okay then the perfect competitive market will uh, charge a price that uh, all the firms will charge a same price whenever they charge a high price or a increased price than other firms it will make them washed out from the market so for a general equilibrium condition perfect competition will exist or we can say that in a perfect competitive market we can see general equilibrium condition and the taste and habits of the firms or uh, sorry the consumers are given and constant so here the taste and habits means the taste means the consumers desire to buy something uh, goods or service so it is constant and we can see that the taste and habits of consumers are uh, changing or dynamic but here the assumption is constant so we can say that the assumption is unrealistic or the theory is an unrealistic theory and also here gives the incomes of consumers are also given constant given and constant and then factors of production factors of production is the factors that we will use to produce something and it include land labor capital and entrepreneurship and the factors will have a perfect mobility between different occupation and places so their factors uh, can move 
accordingly and also there will be not any restriction according to the occupation or the places okay the four points are clear and then the fifth point the constant returns to scale in constant returns we can say that the returns and also the inputs are same or a 10 percentage increase in input will make a 10 percentage increase in the output so there are no any changes between the returns and also the inputs so whatever we put into the production process it will yield the same level of output and all firms operate under identical cost condition that is same under the perfect competitive market and all units of productive service are homogeneous here productive service according to the product market uh, sorry the factor market that is the uh, units of production will get services from consumers or the firms get land labor capital entrepreneurship from various units in the economy and that will represent the productive service here and then there are no changes in the technique of production technique means the land, uh, land labor condition or the capital technique is indicated here labor intensive means the technique use more labor and less capital and capital intensive means the technique use more capital and less labor in uh, most developed countries uh, or it, like america or uh, usa uk etc they will uh, make a or they will use the technique of capital intensive because they have the more funds and also the financial uh, condition for producing a certain commodity but in case of india as a developing country we have to uh, use a technique of labor intensive because we have many labors and also we have less amount of capital and these are the eight assumptions regarding with the general equilibrium and then general equilibrium will function or the working of the general equilibrium system says that there must be a perfect harmony of the decision or the decision of the market participant should be perfect harmony or the purchase of each commodity must be a perfect accord or the uh, decision of producers and also the production of and sale of each commodity in a equal way or the consumers can uh, purchase the commodity the same commodity that the producers uh, will supply to the market so there will be supply equals demand condition okay there will exist a general equilibrium system and then the product market product market or the productive services the these are the uh, markets uh, are the two markets of interest first one is product market product market means the market in which consu uh, consumers get their product or their uh, interest desired quantity with the taste preference and aims of the consumers in an economy so here the on price the product on price does not uh, fully depend the quantity of each commodity also the other quantities price and also depends upon the quantity of each commodity and there will be an interconnection between each and every commodity in the market and uh, according to this the consumer maximizes satisfaction at the prices ruling in the market the, or the prices that prevailing in the market so here the mu equals the marginal utility equals the price of the commodity so mu equal to p in general equilibrium condition the uh, product market will function a mu equal to p condition or marginal utility equals price of the commodity marginal utility means the utility or the satisfaction that the consumer get from buying each and every unit of the commodity and uh, the additional unit that uh, they get from the uh, market or the commodity is indicated by marginal utility the additional satisfaction that the consumer get from purchasing each unit so here the uh, price equals mu will indicate a product market equilibrium or the general equilibrium condition in product market then the factor market 
factor market is the market for cons uh, for consumers uh, that they cannot use the product for final consumption they use a commodity for make other products or the producers are the consumers here so the factor or the uh, services that the producers get from here is equality here so that will indicate a general equilibrium the demand of the factor equals a supply of factor they will uh, make a general equilibrium system or general equilibrium condition the demand for productive service comes from producers and supply from the consumers okay that's clear and this is the point where the factor market is equ uh, equilibrated or the general equilibrium system is carried here the demand for productive services that the demand comes from producers and the supply comes from consumers and then the general equilibrium is characterized by two condition uh, first one is uh, that which is a set of price in all product and factor market is uh, characterized by two condition first of all all consumers maximize their satisfaction that is uh, the consumers uh, charge or the consumers get a commodity from the market with maximum satisfaction or the uh, commodity that they will get from the market will give maximum satisfaction for them and also the producers maximize their profit from getting the factor from the factor market so both the condition the consumers condition also is given and then the producers were also given and in the both consumer and producers will maximize their satisfaction there will be a general equilibrium condition and also the market cleared with the total amount demanded equals the total supply and uh, that also means that the amount that will be demanded by one of the uh, factor or one of the participant in the market is equals the total amount supplied or the demand equals supply condition will exist there will be a general equilibrium so here positive price means the price that will prevailing in the market or the market will ruling that price so here the product and factor market will make a total uh, equilibrium in which demand equals a supply. Then the flow chart or the uh, diagram that represent the flow of factors and products from producers to consumers and from consumers to producers. First we see the consumers will flow, uh, consumers flow of productive factors or the productive resources consumers provide productive resources such as land labor capital entrepreneurship and the resource supply from this way to producers and then the producers will demand these factors and they will, they will supply and in return of producers they provide the consumers the rent interest profit etc so the rent that uh, the addition they will get from land and the interest they get from the capital and also this is a factor market condition and here the consumers demand goods and services from producers that is the point here and then the producers supply goods and services for consumers and that is the point here and in return of that consumers uh, pay prices for goods and services so it is a circular model the general equilibrium condition is a circular model here okay from consumers to producers from producers to consumers and also they pay accordingly consumers get payment from producers as uh, payment for factors of production and then the producers get consume uh, get prices or the uh, amount from consumers as the cost of their production okay and next there are several limitation for general equilibrium first of all this is an unrealistic assumption and uh, we see uh, we can say a certain example here First of all, the taste and preference of the consumer is constant and uh, after all, it is does not exist in all market 
and also the income of the uh, producers and also the consumers is given that also is an unrealistic assumption so uh, some uh, in some situation the unrealistic assumption will make problems in general equilibrium analysis and then it is a static analysis we can see uh, see that all concept or all the factors is static here there does not exist any dynamic situation or an uncertain situation the producers uh, producers demand factors of production from consumers the consumers get pay from producers and also again the consumers demand goods and service from producers and they also get producers get cost from consumers so there will uh, a day in and day out condition there will be not any time lag or any other uncertain situation here that is not a condi uh, that is not a situation in real life it will make uh, many problems or many uncertain situation also so these are the important limitation in general equilibrium analysis so uh, with this uh, limitation general equilibrium analysis is uh, getting why uh, washed off or getting in uh, smaller importance because of this uh, unrealistic assumption okay then that for the day and general equilibrium we, uh, we say that uh, it uh, perform or it works in a perfectly competitive market and in perfect competitive market uh, the general equilibrium condition will exist so uh, whenever a question comes, uh, the perfect competitive market, uh, sorry, the general equilibrium condition will exist in which market? So, perfect competitive market is the market for that will function in general equilibrium analysis. Okay, and uh, any doubts regarding to this, uh, please ask in the comment box. Okay, uh, we will wind up this session and we will meet in the next video. Thank you.